Hi, I'm Patty Behan, and thank you for joining me in the studio today. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use glossy accents. So let's get started. Okay, so there are several things that you can do with glossy accents, and I'm going to show you now. One thing you could do is use it to glaze over a sentiment or a focal point. It just adds a little bit more dimension to your projects. We did it on the stars here as well. And then for this one, we used a stencil to make the raindrops and then just put some glossy accents over top. And for this, we filled the die cut in with the glossy accents and this kind of looks like a stained glass window so I'm going to show you how to do this technique right now and what I have here is a stencil that I've inked with um, archival ink you want to use a permanent ink because since the glossy accent is water-based your ink won't run if you don't you know, if you have a background design that you use dye ink and it doesn't really matter if the colors run a little bit, then it's okay to use that. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that your accents are coming out on the bottle. And what I'm going to do is just put um, a pretty thick line across the top here. You're going to need a lot of, of accents to fill in all the blanks and I'm just going to take a scraper and push it down all right and maybe I'm going to zoom in now so that you could see it a little better I'll just move it up okay and now I'm going to and some more you could also just like add in all the little spots but this works just as well and as I'm scraping I'm kind of pushing down and I'm being very generous here You almost want to flood it but not so much that it goes under but I have this taped really well And another thing you could do is just leave it bumpy. You don't have to have it um, crystal clear. I think that adds some um, nice texture to it. I think that we're good to go. And so you want to make sure you um, wipe off your tools. What we're going to do is take our stencil off, and take off the tape, And 
little piece came off here, so I'm just going to stick it back on and if need be, I will just trim that part off. I guess I got it too wet. just now you just let it dry and that should fix itself up I think that'll be fine just like that so um, I'm gonna take this away and I already made one that's dry and I'll show you how it turned out I added these cute little bees and made a card for a friend so I hope you'll give this a try and if you'd like to see more videos using Ranger Accents, keep watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks again for joining me and I'll see you next time.